What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news that kind of spans the entire line. We got a lot of stuff going on here today, man. Excited to get into it with you and get cracking. Now, I do want to start off the video by saying that the room is not completed, but I do believe it'll be completed on the 6th. So, I do believe Saturday will be the day that we upload the room tour. Just have a few things, like the lighting was supposed to be completed yesterday, and it didn't get completed until later this afternoon. So, therefore, by the time that all that happens and I get everything set up. There's no possible way to get it up today, so I do apologize for that, but it is coming Saturday, so you can look forward to a nice weekend experience for the New Year Room Tour. Should be happy to get that up for you guys, but nonetheless, man, let's dive into the news and let's go ahead and get started. So that being said, man, let's get into WWE Elite 107. Now, we already know about Elite 107. I'm hoping that mine hits my door today, actually, so hopefully that will be the case. If WWE Elite 107 does hit today, then that would mean that my reviews can start for tomorrow and we can get diving into that, but 107 is hitting ringside and also I wanted to show this image of Solo Sokoa from Elite 107 compared to his skinny Elite 104 counterpart. Now this image does come to us from Painmaker Figs on Instagram. I think this is a nice image to kind of show the differences between the two figures here as you guys can see and I mean it's just a, it's just a ridiculous comparison man. Look at the Elite 104 compared to the Elite 107. Of course we're going to have this figure in our hands in days and we're going to be able to break it down and do the full in-depth review and break it all down but I mean dude this, ver this new version seems to do dominate the first version. And you know what? I guess, you know, it does make them different, but maybe if you wanted him in that black gear, you might be able to torso swap it or something, but I do believe it has a new crotch piece and stuff, so probably wouldn't even work that way. But I don't know. I'm excited to get the solo in here. We'll see what comes of it when we get into our review, but I did want to showcase this just to kind of show you guys there is a massive difference between the two figures, but I'm excited to have the Elite 107 Solo Sokoa. Can't wait to plug him into our bloodline, and it's in the red gear, so it should be really fun, but there is our Solo Sokoa. Next up, we also have WWE Elite 108. Now, Elite 108 is something we saw back at San Diego Comic-Con on the Mattel booth when they were, or the panel, I should say, where they were showing the images, they were breaking it down, of course. In this set, we do have LA Knight, Chelsea Green, Bronson Reed, Omos, Brock Lesnar, and Terry Gordy. Now, all these figures look really awesome. I think it's a very, probably an underrated wave, you know. It looks like Bronson Reed, for the most part, is a repaint. You have, like, the entrance jacket and the green, which is okay. I, I'm mentioning this wave because it is up for pre-order. You can pre-order these right now at Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourself. 10%. But Bronson Reed is up there. You have our Omos figure. Did we really need another Omos? I don't know. You know, it does show that he's going to be coming with some sort of hoodie accessory. I don't know if that's going to be cloth goods or rubber. I guess that remains to be seen. We'll see how that comes. If it's a cloth goods accessory, sign me up. But who the hell is it going to fit? Because it's going to be massive, I imagine. But his Elite 97, his Elite 97 figure was one of the top figures of 2022, if I'm not mistaken. I had him in my top 10, I think. It's just a really nice figure. I don't think that we really needed another Omos because that one was so good, but who am I to judge Brad? They're going to pump him out there, and we'll see how that figure goes. Brock Lesnar, we really don't even know what he's going to look like. I imagine it wouldn't be much different from his Royal Rumble Elite and the Elite 96 and all that stuff, so we'll have to see what comes of that. Hopefully, it'll be a different promo gear or something like that, like the three-pack or the Elite 99. We have Chelsea Green, who is the Chase variant. I know a lot of people are going to be happy to get a Chelsea Green figure. been waiting on her for a very long time. I know we have her basic, but this is going to be so much better, man. I mean, this has a opportunity to crack the top 10. We'll have to see how she fares throughout the year. LA Knight, a big one. Obviously, everybody's going to be excited for that, but these are all up for pre-order. LA Knight getting his first Elite here, and Terry Gordy. You also get the Executioner head sculpt that is going to be interchangeable. A lot of people were worried that this figure wasn't going to make it. Like, I think there was like a delay in showing off the render image or something like that, and it kind of had people worry, but it does seem that the Terry Gordy is going to be coming out, which I'm really excited for as well. So, lots of good th stuff going on with Elite 108, but we do have Elite 107 coming in the next week or so, but it feels like, bro, it feels like there's a hundred things hitting at once, and when I get into this, you're going to be like, damn, there's a lot hitting, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Next up, we have Ultimate Edition Series 20, so not only is Elite 107 hitting, Ultimate Edition Series 20 is also hitting, so you have the Roman Reigns, the Asuka, and the Undertaker all hitting ringside collectibles. I do believe all the pre-orders have shipped out. They are on back order right now, so if you guys missed out on that, you didn't get your pre-order in, you can go ahead and pre-order it now. It is on back order, so I do recommend if you're going to order that, definitely order that before putting in anything else, like order it by itself if you're going to be doing so. So, but the figures look immaculate. I'm so happy and excited to get these. I know my boy Alex West already has these in hand. I'm showing some of his images here. And I am just, oh man, I cannot wait for these. So hopefully mine arrive soon. We're going to definitely get our Ultimate Edition Roman and Asuka reviews knocked out first because those are priority for me personally. And I've been, this Roman Reigns is one of the most hyped figures I've been waiting on in a while. So I'm really excited for the Roman Reigns Ultimate. And I know it's just kind of a regular Ultimate Edition, man, but just let me have my fun. So I'm excited for both of those. The Oscar 
Asuka looks incredible. Could be the best women's figure Mattel's ever produced. And it's going to argue or it's going to be able to battle right there. So we'll have to see about that. But also, not only is Elite 107 and Ultimate Edition Series 20 hitting, we also have the top talents wave hitting. So Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul also hitting. And so we'll also be getting reviews of those figures up. But these look amazing. I'm so excited to get these in hand. Of course, Sheamus is also a part of the top talents wave. But he is a re-release of his Elite 97 figure, which was a fantastic figure in its own right. So this new top talents wave is amazing. You know, they're, they're getting one re-release and the others are some repaints. Logan Paul getting his first Elite ever next to his Ultimate Edition. It's going to look really nice. Great gear. Got the Prime Bottle even if it is misshapen. Cody Rhodes looks fantastic. His, all of his Elites feel great in hand. So it's just a lot of great things happening right now. A lot of stuff hitting. But not only is all of this hitting ringside collectibles, we also have some stuff up for pre-order that I have an update for. Now, the Ultimate Edition Series 3, or the best of Ultimate Edition Series 3, which is going to include Charlotte Flair and Hollywood Hulk Hogan, which we reported on maybe a, a month or two ago or something like that. That. This Hulk Hogan has been confirmed that it is going to receive not only the pinless treatment, it is also going to have the updated tan treatment to that Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and it is up for pre-order right now. It's supposed to be hitting in late February, I do believe, maybe early March or something like that, but you're not going to want to miss this figure. So if you guys loved the first version of the Hulk Hogan, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition, which I thought was a fantastic figure, I remember in my review saying something like, oh, if this had, you know, if it, if it had the right tan and if it was the right thing, it would be just ultra and now this figure is going to be not only pinless, but have that updated tan in that Hollywood Hulk Hogan gear. Oh my God in heaven, this Ultimate Edition Hogan is going to be ridiculous. It's going to look so good with just the updates, man. So definitely get in your pre-order. It's been confirmed by Steve Ozer that it is going to have those updates. So that is definitely something you're going to want to get in on. You're not going to want to miss out on that because you're going to you're going to regret not getting that. And I think it's a better update. So if you have to sell your older version and grab this version, I would definitely do so because I think it's most definitely worth it if you're you know if you're trying to update that Hogan and get the correct, accurate, more accurate Hogan. Now, speaking of Hogan's, man, Legend Series 21 is hitting Target Store. So you we're talking about all these figures that are coming off a of pre-order. Now we're talking about retail figures that are hitting. So a lot of Target exclusives hitting right now. We have Legend Series 21. Now, Legend Series 21 features Hulk Hogan. It's got Jimmy Hart. It's got Iron Sheik. It's got Andre the Giant, who also is the chase. So tons of stuff hitting right here all at once. This set is hitting Target Store. So definitely check your Target stores. I went to mine, and I was only able to find Hulk Hogan. They had like six of the Hulk Hogan on the pegs. I did go ahead and grab it. It was the only figure on the peg. So they had six Hulk Hogan's and nothing else. Not even a basic, no play sets. It was literally Hulk Hogan, six of them on the shelf. I asked the lady, I said, do you have any of this set in the back? And she says it says that there were two in the back. But my guess is that they were both Hulk Hogan because I, I imagine they shipped Hulk Hogan in a case all by himself. And I bet that case arrived before anything else. So that case of Hulk Hogan's, they put six of them out on the shelf or five or whatever the hell it was and then they they left the other two in the back so I am guessing that hopefully my target stores will be getting the rest of Legends 21 but Legends 21 does look like a sweet set you know it's got some underrated figures in there but I did go ahead and grab the Hulk Hogan I didn't toy hunt it because it was just bare bones I did record it I just didn't I, it was the only store I hit and it wasn't worth a video so I did throw that one away there but we did hit we hit you know we had we got the Hulk Hogan figure but I am waiting on the rest of the set there but not only is the Legends Series 21 hitting your stores the Ultimate War Warrior Legends Ultimate Edition figure is also hitting. So this is going to be a part of like a new end cap. I do believe actually on Sunday it's supposed to enter planograms. Now I don't know if that's that means that they're going to put them out on shelves or if that just means that they're going to be planned to put out. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I've never worked a retail store so I couldn't tell you that you know exactly what that means. But apparently this Sunday is when they are supposed to be, I don't know if they're supposed to be hitting. I'm going to be going to my Target every single day until I find the rest of the wave just because I'm, I'm not going to be that guy that misses out on it because if I'm a day late, I'm going to, I'll have huge FOMO. It's going to be a massive just regret coming over me if I go a day late or if I skip a day and then I miss out on that. That's going to be so crap. So we'll have to see about that. But the Hulk Hogan figure and the rest of the Legends are hitting with that Ultimate Warrior, which I'm really excited about. Now you say, okay, that's a lot of figures right there. That's five if you include the Chase from Legends. 21 plus the Ultimate Edition, Ultimate Warrior, that's another figure. But that's not all, Brad, because we have the Hogan 3-pack also hitting 
Target Store. So the Hogan 3-pack, as well as all of these Legends, as well as the Legends Ultimate Ultimate Warrior, all of that is hitting at once. So not only are you getting the 3-pack and all that different stuff, man, that Hogan 3-pack is, is essential. Gotta have that Hogan 3-pack, and you know, there's tons of bells and whistles there. So just a lot of Hulk Hogan on retail shelves right now, not to mention just the Legends figures as well. But I'm really excited to get all of these figures in hand. That Hogan 3-pack looks so sweet. You know, this year is going to be a big year of, of packs because we have the Acclaim pack from AEW. You have two packs from AEW coming to the vault. You have this Hogan 3-pack. You have the F Three Faces of Foley 3-pack. You have the big 5-pack, like the Mattel, the Mattel Creations LWO 5-pack that's coming later. So a ton of packs coming in 2024, and it looks to be like 2024 is the year of the, the box sets. So we'll have to, you know, just, uh, I guess, indulge in all of that, man. But uh, we're not done. We're still going here. But all of that stuff is hitting retail. Now, I say that to say not only is the Hogan 3-pack coming, but Steve Ozer actually came out and said that there are two more yet to be revealed Hulkamania 40th anniversary figures coming to the Legends line in 2024. So not only do you have the this Hulk Hogan, you have the next Legends wave of Hulk Hogan that has two. It's the Ichiban Hulk Hogan. You have those two. You have the Chase variant and the regular edition. And then you have two more yet to be revealed Hulk Hogan's coming to the Legends line this year. Between the three-pack and the Best of Ultimate and the Legends and the other Legends and the Chase Legends and all these different Hulk Hogan's, we're getting two more yet to be revealed. Now, I wonder if that means a figure in a Chase to a Legends line or if that means that he's going to be in two separate sets. I have no idea, but that is absolutely insane that we're getting all these Hulk Hogan's, man. If you're a Hulk Hogan fan, man, cash in your money in the big briefcase because this is just the year of Hulk Hogan. So many different Hulk Hogan's, so many different looks that they could do also. And I do believe that this this photo here comes from Fig Vault. So a huge shout out to him for this graphic. Shows off some of the Hulk Hogan's we could get and stuff like that in elite figure form. But all of you can, you know, you can chime in down below. Which one, which versions do you want to see? What Hulk Hogan's are you wanting in your collection? Of course, we do have the Monday Night Wars also coming. And speaking of which, I think somebody listed the full set of Monday Night Wars elites on eBay for like a buck eighty or two hundred bucks or something like that, and somebody bought it. So that was crazy. I don't know if they found it or if they got it from the factory, but it was like men on card the full wave with the build a figure and all so i'm excited for that wave as well man but lord in heaven there are a lot of stuff just a lot of stuff hitting man just crazy stuff and not to mention the last thing that we have right here is going to be the shop aew exclusive eddie kingston now this is sort of a, a two-in-one because it's a shop aew exclusive chase figure but it is also a blood and guts in one i mean this is a blood and guts you've got the gas can eddie kingston and he's got his white shirt on there he's a bloody mess i did order two of these if you guys want a review of this let me know down in the comment section below i will review this figure but i did grab two of these one to keep men on card one to open and i did actually cash in on the the 20 percent off sale so so the 20% off sale, I don't know if it's still up on Shop AEW, but you could still possibly get this figure and use the the, co the code. There's a like a New Year's code or a Holiday 24 or something like that. It's one of those codes. You guys can find it on Google or something like that. But if you look that up, you can actually find the the promo code and you can get 20% off the Eddie Kingston figure. So that's sort of a, a deal you can't really pass up if you guys collect the AEW, AEW figures and whatnot. But this is a great looking figure and I did pick up a second hook off that sale as well because it was very, very cheap. So I think... I have every Shop AEW exclusive, Men on Card, and Loose besides the Hangman page because it was just the exact same thing, so I didn't care to really buy two of those, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll see about all those different things, man. But I do believe that is all of the news that we have today. A lot of stuff hitting, man. Lots and lots of stuff going on, man. I tried to find, like, I want to say there was, like, some Ultimate Edition. You remember back, like, a couple weeks ago when Walmart listed up those leaked Ultimate Editions? Well, if you try to go find those Ultimate Editions, they're actually no longer up. So, uh, it looks like maybe they strapped that back. They were like, hey, remove that off your website. And they said, oh, snap. Sorry about that. And they took them down. So, the Kevin Owens, the Sami Zayn, the Gunther, all the, the different Ultimate Editions that we we were talking about the other day, the John Cena. Apparently, there is another. I'm pretty sure that I missed out on one of those, and I think there was another Jimmy and Jay Uso Ultimate coming, and I don't, I couldn't find any other screenshots. I know I'm not crazy. I could have swore there was a Jay and a Jimmy Uso somewhere in there. So if anybody can remember that or whatever, man, I'm pretty sure we also have a Walmart exclusive. Jimmy and Jay Uso coming, or maybe it's not Walmart exclusive. Maybe it's going to be like a best of way, and they re-release re them 
in like you know what I'm saying like single card like they use the ringside exclusives but they change them up some and put them in the best of. I don't know we'll see about all that I, I don't really know how that all works but maybe top talents ultimate editions are coming soon I don't know that would be crazy if that happened top talent ultimate editions would be insanity hopefully that'll be something we see in 2024 man but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video thank you guys so very much for watching I'd love to know what you think of all this news down in the comment section below hopefully the Rocky Maya Via 3 pack starts hitting soon lots of good stuff coming man so I'm really excited for it but that is going to wrap up today's news video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there. They've been getting some updates on the room. As we approach closer to being done with the room, they have actually been receiving some updates on there. So, But a huge shout out to those guys over there. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.